Next up in our ninja bits, can you catch an arrow with your bare hands? How are we gonna do that? Well, I figure we should take some of our arrows downstairs and you can shoot them at me and I'll just try and catch them. So you'd actually let me shoot at you with a bow and arrow? Amazingly, yes. All right. Legend has it that a ninja could do this dexterous trick with ease. So Jamie and Adam want to get a feel for it themselves. I'm going to string a regular bow and set up an arrow with a tennis ball on it and shoot it at Adam, or at least off to the side of Adam. We'll put Adam in a, a protective suit in case I either get frisky or miss. Jamie is an experienced archer, and even though he's not using a real arrowhead, this is not something to try at home. He's gonna be shooting from over there into this garbage can. I'm gonna be standing here, we'll catch it on high-speed camera, see how fast I can actually catch the arrow at. Jamie marks out notches on the shaft. The further he pulls back, the faster the rod will travel. Push. All right, I'm ready if you are. You wanna start slow? Yep. All right. Jamie starts out at mark one. Two, one. <laughs> the arrow eludes Adam's grasp. I don't have enough time to anticipate. It's like by the time you let go and I've moved. Still at mark one, this time Adam tries to move in sync with the arrow. Hey! Good job. You know, I, I anticipated when you were just about to do it and I just started moving and we worked, it's like working together. It's a beautiful thing. Next, Jamie ups the ante to mark three. But the arrow keeps sailing on by. Has the guy's unified martial arts magic peaked already? Got it! Even though Adam's form was impressive, the speed was lacking. Their tennis ball projectile was traveling at 58 miles an hour, a third of the speed of a real arrow. You've got a couple of things here that are throwing this off. For one thing, this is, what, twice or three times as heavy as a normal arrow would be because of that thing on the end of it? Right. I really think that we need to figure out some other solution. To test this myth at a true-to-life rate, the guys have to bounce around a new strategy. Back over at M7, the team has finished putting their mechanical sword catching rig together. Now, to set it to move at a real life rate. We don't want it to be superhuman and we don't want it to be subhuman. We want it to be whatever a person could do, and then we'll be ready to try and catch a sword. Calibration first test at 100 PSI. In three, two, one. That's good, yeah. Yeah. The speed and force of the ninja's arms was exactly the same as Grant's best time, but the replay reveals something undetectable to the naked eye. There's a, a bounce back which could let that sword get right through there. As the hands hit together, they bounce off each other and jiggle like jello, opening up an unforeseen headache. The force is causing him to bounce away and uh, it's allowing a gap which is gonna allow the sword to go right through and bury into the guy's head. To try and stop the handshake, they're going to strengthen them from the inside. Building up the bones may add extra beef. First you slice the hand a half, and then you get the beat the metal and you stick it in. Tori has a big saw over there and he's taking out these tiny little pieces of metal and putting in big, thick, girthy pieces of metal. That way when these things hit, argh. Tori also has another quiver containing idea. What I'm thinking is maybe what we do is put some kind of a latch so that when the hands come together, it keeps them there. And it's not adding any more pressure. All it's doing is keeping the hands together like you would be able to do if you were using your muscles. He attaches two kickstands to the arms that will fall and lock into ratchets and fastens pneumatic rams on either side of the hands. This thing's starting to look like a monster. <laughs> Pretty soon you're not going to recognize it. But it's function, not form, that counts. Here we go in three, two, one. Man, it looks mm. nice and sturdy and stable. Yeah. They check it out frame by frame. Stay together. Come on. Stay together. 